This video is all about keeping kids engaged in the learning process over the summer months. First of all, let me say summer is a very important time to be outside, swimming, running, playing, visiting with friends and family. All of these things are very important. I don't want to have school over the summer, but I also want to deter the loss of learning that can occur over the summer. I was in this meeting, we were talking about summer reading, we were talking about summer math, but we weren't talking about writing. And I thought, I, I need to do something about this. So I started thinking about how could I get kids writing during the summertime without it feeling like schoolwork. Sure, they could write some kind of summary of a book that they read, but that feels like schoolwork. And then I thought about a diary or a journal, but if a parent goes and buys a diary or a journal for their child, most of the time we already know what the child's gonna say. I don't know what to write. It ends up being something like, today I had eggs for breakfast. And, and while that's writing and it counts as writing, that's not really what I'm after. So what I thought I would do is put together a book a book of writing prompts that I thought would appeal to the students that I teach and therefore appeal to kids everywhere. And that is what we've done with this, my summer journal. Now I say we because the cover art has been done by my class. Each of them drew a self portrait and then a friend here at school turned it into the book cover for me. This is a book that students can write in as a journal to continue getting their thoughts into sentences, getting their sentences on the paper, what we work so hard to do all year long. And it's in a silly, funny way. Not all of the prompts are for story or narrative. Some of them are just for a list. For example, list five things you like that cost less than $5. That's just a list. Uh, list the people you know you can always count on for help. Just a list. And then there are some that are about a narrative or a paragraph in which you explain things. For example, write a story in which you and your friend, real or imaginary, go on an adventure on a hot summer day. One other thing that's in this book is a habit tracker. So there's a chart with days of the week. They can chart how many days, even for chores, did I make my bed? But they could definitely check off every day that they take the time to read or take the time to write. This book is for sale on Amazon. And trust me, my kids got super excited when they saw their cover art on Amazon. I hope you'll check it out, My Summer Journal, I'll put the link down below. If you'd like to see a video on the specifics of my summer reading requirements, just leave it in the comments and I'll get to it as quick as I can. Have a great day, everybody.